Merry Mother Goose. Merry Mother Goose, when she wanted to wander, would ride through the air on a very fine gander. She had a son, Jack, a plain looking lad. He was not very good, nor <laughs> yet very bad. She sent him to market, a lot of his supply. See, Mother, says he, I have not been for naught. Jack found one fine morning, as I have been told. His goose laid him an egg of pure gold. Would you look at that egg? Jack ran to his mother, the news for to tell. She called him a good boy and said it was well. Jack's mother came in and caught the goose soon, and mounting its back, flew up to the moon. Sing a song of six pence, a pocket full of rye, four and twenty blackbirds baked in a pie. When the pie was old, then the birds began to sing. Wasn't that a dainty dish to set before a king? The king was in his counting house, counting out his money. The queen was in the parlor, eating bread and honey. The maid was in the garden, hanging out the clothes. Along came a blackbird and tweaked at her nose. King was shining a six pence, a pocket full of rye. Four and twenty blackbirds baked in a pie. When the pie was open, the birds began to sing. Wasn't that a dainty dish to set before a king? The king was in his counting house, counting out his money. The queen was in the parlor, eating bread and honey. The maid was in the garden, hanging out the clothes. Along came a blackbird and tweaked at her nose. Step right up, folks. Ask your mother for 50 cents to see the elephant jump the fence. He jumped so high, he touched the sky and never came down. Look out! Till the 4th of July. Raining heffalumps! The man in the moon looked out of the moon. What he saw there made him giggle. <laughs> hey diddle diddle, hey diddle diddle, the cat played the fiddle, the cat played the fiddle. The cow jumped over the moon. The cow jumped over the moon. The little dog laughed to see such sport. The little dog laughed to see such sport. And the dish ran away with a spoon. And the dish ran away with a spoon. <laughs> and now, here's a funny story about another cow. Mrs. Mooley. Mrs. Mooley was bored with life on the farm. Moo! Everything is always the same. It's the same routine every single day. Oh, I don't know about that. I love to canter through the fields when the sun is shining. <laughs> I like sitting on my nest waiting for my chicks to hatch. It's a great thing to do. <laughs> I relish rolling in the cool mud. And goat munches up everything that isn't nailed down. We're all happy here. Don't you like what you do? Well, I just give milk twice a day. I want to do something special. I'm determined there's something more I can do. Mrs. Mooley saw something on the floor of the barn. Moo! Why, it's the book the farmer's little boy was reading. He must have dropped it. Even though I can't read, I can enjoy the pictures. Moo! Why, there's three men in a tub. Ooh! And an old woman who lives in a shoe. And there... Why, there's a cow jumping over the moon. Now that would be an exciting thing to do. I'm going to jump over the moon. Mrs. Mooley gave a little jump, just for practice. But she came down with a jolt that shook the whole barn. Hey, you're jostling my eggs. 
What do you think you're doing? I'm practicing. I'm going to jump over the moon. <laughs> jump over the moon? Well, Mrs. Mooley, if any cow can jump over the moon, I'm sure you're the one. If you have determination, you will be an inspiration. You will have our admiration and we'll tell you how. If you have determination, don't go off on a vacation. Don't take time for contemplation. The time to try is now. You can do it, you can do it. Kick up your heels and try. Bark, bark, bark. You can do it, just get to it. You'll do it by and by. I hatched two of my eggs. Hi, sweet babies. Well, congratulations. And thanks for the inspiration. Moo. Coo, coo. Jump over the moon. I might fly over the moon. But you? Oh, never. Coo. The mouse in the straw laughed at Mrs. Mooley. What's so funny? They could hardly stop laughing long enough to tell. Coo, coo. Mrs. Mooley thinks she can jump over the moon. Oh. <laughs> Mrs. Mooley, you made me lose three whole tail feathers. <laughs> Goose, be nice. Mrs. Mooley can do anything she puts her mind to. Moo, sure I can. You'll see. The goose ran outside and told the duck. Is everyone except the hen going to laugh at me? The duck told the horse. The horse <laughs> laughed so hard, he got the hiccups. <laughs> Jump over the moon? Why, Mrs. Mooley stumbles over a pile of hay. She'll never jump over the moon. What's going on? Mrs. Mooley says she's going to ju jump over the moon. <laughs> I suppose you think it's my fault that you're rolling in the mud. Oh, no, Mrs. Mooley. You've given me a good laugh. This mud puddle is just where I plan to be anyway. <laughs> And the pig told the goat. The goat laughed. The pig laughed. The horse laughed. The duck laughed. The goose laughed. The mouse and the pigeon laughed. But the hen didn't laugh. She knew Mrs. Mooley could jump over the moon. Don't listen to them, Mrs. Mooley. All you need to do is try. I don't know. Ooh, maybe they're right and we're wrong. You can do it, you can do it. Kick up your heels and try. Buck, buck, buck. You can do it, you can do it. You'll do it by and by. That night, while the other animals slept, Mrs. Mooley went out to the barnyard. Hen is right. All it takes is determination. Moo! And a little practice. All night long she jumped. And one, and two, and whoa! And jumped. And three, and four, and whoa! This is much harder than I thought it would be. Maybe I can get a hint from the book. If I swish my tail just so, and put my feet like this, and here I go! Boom! You can do it, just get to it. You'll do it by and by. Well, that last jump did go a little better. Mrs. Mooley was still jumping when the moon began to sink in the west. One, two, three, and woof! One, two, three, and woof! And the morning light appeared in the east. One by one, 
the animals woke up. What's going on? Oh, why are you up so early, Mrs. Mooley? Have you been up here all night? Oh, did you jump over the moon? <laughs> oh, the moon is so low that it seems to be sitting on the ground. Mrs. Mooley had time for one last jump, her highest jump yet. The animals saw the moon on the ground. They saw Mrs. Mooley jump high in the air. They saw Mrs. Mooley jump over the moon. I did it! She did it! The hen was so excited, she hatched another egg. The goose lost another tail feather. The horse's hiccups came back. The pig flopped in the mud. You, you did, did it, Mrs. Mrs. Mooney! You jumped over the moon! All it takes is determination and a little practice. I think I'll jump over the sun next. No cow ever did that before. Jump over the sun? Mm. Nobody laughed at Mrs. Mooley this time. And after I jump over the sun, mm, ooh, who knows? There are a lot of planets and, and stars to jump over. Mm. Do you really think you could? Oh, why not? Good. Oh, all it takes is determination and... And a little practice. Ba, ba, ba. Did you like the story? Let's enjoy some more Mother Goose rhymes now. Mary had a little lamb, little lamb, little lamb. Mary had a little lamb, its fleece was white as snow. Everywhere that Mary went, Mary went, Mary went. <laughs> Jack, be quick. Jack, jump over the candlestick. Ah, that's better. Ply the spade and ply the hoe. Plant the seed and it will grow. Wow! Little Bo Peep has lost her sheep. I've looked everywhere for them and can't tell where to find them. Only worms and bugs under here. There's no way they could get into a tree. Any sheep down there? Leave them alone and they'll come home. Wagging their tails <laughs> behind them. <laughs> Little Jack Horner sat in a corner eating a Christmas pie. He put in his thumb and pulled out a plum and said, What a good boy am I. My word, Jack. Little Miss Muffet sat on a tuffet, eating of curds and whey. There came a great spider who sat down beside her and frightened Miss Muffet away. <laughs> My spider trick gets her every time. Once I saw a little bird come hop, hop, Hop! And I cried, Little bird, will you stop? Stop! Stop! Aww! Ding dong bell. Pussy's in the well! Who put her in? Little Johnny Green. Who pulled her out? Little Tommy Stout. What a naughty boy was that to try to drown poor Pussycat, who never did any harm, and killed the mice in his father's barn. Jack! 
Jack and Jill went up the hill to fetch a pail of water. Jack fell down Whoa. and broke his crown. Ooh. And Jill came tumbling after. <laughs> then up Jack got and home did trot as fast as he could caper. They put him to bed <sighs> and plastered his head with vinegar and brown paper. Oh, what a day. Phew! There's no such thing as a dragon. Wow! Wow, it's a dragon! Oh, oh boy! Just wait till all the other guys see you! Wait till Mom sees you. Wow, my very own dragon. Hey, Mom. Hey, Mom. Wait here, dragon. Hey, Mom. There's a dragon in my bedroom. There's no such thing as a dragon, Billy. But, Mom. I repeat, there is no such thing as a dragon. Now go back upstairs and get dressed. Breakfast in just a minute. Dragon. Dragon, I've got some bad news. Oh. There's no such thing as a dragon. Oh. Mom said so. Goodbye. No such thing, no such thing. <gasps> look, look, look at me. Can't. No such thing. Now quit fooling around. <laughs> Those are my pajama bottoms. Bottoms, bottoms, bottoms. Okay. Where'd my other shoe go? Oh. Okay. Well, okay, thanks. <laughs> Sorry, dragon. I just can't pat something that, that isn't. Go away, okay? There's no such thing as a D-R-A-G-O-N. There's no such. You're still here, and you've gotten bigger. Mom isn't going to like this. Ready for some pancakes, Billy? Oh, boy, blueberry pancakes, my favorite. Oh, blueberry, blueberry, blueberry pancakes, favorite. There's no such thing as a dragon. There's no such thing as a dragon. There's no... Mom, can I have some more? More pancakes, Billy. Gee, thanks, Mom. The dragon... There is no such thing. Yes, Mom. Hey, hey, give him here. I'm a growing boy. I'm grow, grow, growing faster than you, you, you are. Oh, no. He's growing with every bite. Oh, boy. You're in trouble now, dragon. Uh -oh. Hey, Mom. Sorry, Billy. Pancakes are all gone. Oh, oh you spilled your milk. Oh. Get a paper towel and wipe it up. But, but, Mom, the dragon did it. Billy, not one more word. There is no such, none such, any such thing as a D-R-A-G-O-N. Now, run upstairs and brush your teeth. Don't know why. I didn't eat enough to get them dirty. I didn't know dragons grew so fast. This house just seems to get more crowded every day. I wish Billy would put his things away. <laughs> There's no such thing as a dragon. There's no such, none such, any such thing as a D R A G O N. Period. So there. Out of sight, out of mind. What you don't see can't hurt you. Hey, a uh, Mrs. Mom lady? A scratch right there, there, there. Oh, feels good, good, good. Uh, uh, Two. What you don't hear can't hurt you either. Achoo! Achoo! Wow, 25 more feet since breakfast. Billy Bixby, what is that? It's a, uh, it's a dress. Oh, oh nothing. Sure looks like something to me. It's a... Well, my mom says it's a... Oh, oh, nothing. Well, I certainly hope you don't bring any more oh-nothings into this neighborhood, young man. Ah! 
But you don't admit it can't hurt you. It's not there. It's not there. Mom, come here quick. Billy, what's going on down there? It's the no such dragon. He's awake and hungry again. Real hungry. Hungry, hungry, hungry. This can't be happening. I must be dreaming. This is Bexby. There's no such, none such, any such thing as a D R A G O N. Hello, Mrs. Bexby. Your mail, oh, Mrs. Bexby. Do you have a forwarding address? Stop that house! Get that a runaway bungalow! Hey, you don't have a driver's license. Stop! Help! Come back here! Wow! I didn't know dragons could run so fast. There's no such thing as a dragon. There's no such thing as a <gasps> Oh no! Where's my house? It was here this morning. They went that away, Mr. Bixby. Just follow the sirens. Oh no! Here we go! Hello up there! Everyone okay? Find it. Oh, Harold, not a moment too soon. Come on up, Dad. Certainly is a hungry critter. How did all this happen? It was the dragon. The D-R-A-G-O-N, Harold. A very big and wonderful dragon. Ooh, D-R-A-G-O-N, dragon. <laughs> wonderful big. <laughs> dragon, what's happening? Billy, the dragon's getting smaller. Dragon, you're shrinking. Your room size again. Nice, nice dragon. Nice, nice dragon. What happened? He shrank again. You're back to normal. Oh, he's cute. I don't mind dragons this size. Why did he have to grow so big? I'm not sure, but I think... I think he just wanted to be noticed. You noticed me. You look, look, looked at me. You like me. That's it, Mom. Problems grow if we're afraid to face them. Now you see, 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 I'm just me, me, me. Needing some kindness, attention, and dignity. Oh. The Queen of Hearts, she made some tarts all on a summer's day. The Knave of Hearts, he stole the tarts <laughs> and took them clean away. The King of Hearts called for the tarts Ow. and beat Ooh. the Knave Ow. full sore. Can't we talk this over, Your Majesty? The Knave of Hearts brought back the tarts and vowed he'd steal no more. It's just not worth it. Mmm, <laughs> delicious. So, here you are with my tarts. <laughs> As I was going to St. Ives, I met a man with seven wives. Each wife had seven sacks. Each sack had seven cats. Each cat had seven kits. Kits, cats, sacks, wives. How many were going to St. Ives? Do you know the answer to the riddle? It's one. Only I was going to St. Ives. <laughs> Anna Maria, she sat on the fire. Youch! The fire was too hot. She sat on the pot. The pot was too round. She sat on the ground. Whoa! The ground was too flat. She sat on the cat. This is nice. The cat ran away with Maria on her back. <laughs> Will someone get me out of here? Old Mother Hubbard went to the cupboard. <laughs> 
No, I'll get you your bone. Just hang on a minute. To get her poor dog a bone. Now just be quiet. But but when she got there, no, no, be a good doggy. The cupboard was bare. Oh! And so the poor dog had none. Dr. Forster went to Gloucester in a shower of rain. He stepped in a puddle right up to his middle. My word! And never went there again. Now you just hang there until you're dry. There was an old woman who lived in a shoe. She had so many children, she didn't know what to do. She gave them some broth without any bread and spanked them all soundly and <laughs> sent them to bed. <sighs> I had a little dog, and his name was Bluebell. I gave him some work. <laughs> and he did it very well. <laughs> Dame Trot and her cat sat down for a chat. The dame sat on this side, and Puss sat on that. Puss, says the dame, can you catch a rat? Or a mouse in the dark? Prrr, says the cat. Oh, Puss, you are so brave, aren't you? Cock-a-diddle-doo. Oops! My dame has lost her shoe. Do something! My shoe is floating away! Give me that! My master lost his fiddling stick. Hmm, I can just about reach it. There! And knows not what to do. <laughs> alas, alas for Miss McKay. Her knives and forks have run away. And when her cups and spoons are going, she's sure she has no way of knowing. Old King Cole was a merry old soul, and a merry old soul was he. He called for his pipe, and he called for his bowl, and he called for his fiddler's tree. Every fiddler he had a fine fiddle, and a very fine fiddle had he. Oh, there's none so rare as can compare with the king and his fiddler's tree. Old King Cole was a merry old soul, and a merry old soul was he. He called for his pipe, and he called for his bowl, and he called for his trumpeters three. Every trumpeter had a fine trumpet, and a very fine trumpet had he. Oh, there's none so rare as can compare with the king and his trumpeters three. 